I'll tell you this story about one time that I thought I was going to die. I think it's the only time where I thought, why wouldn't this be when I die? I was on a plane. I've been on a lot of planes and a lot of shitty weather and stuff, but this shit was fucked up. I was in Indianapolis on a plane waiting to take off, and we're sitting there, and the pilot comes on, and he says, uh, All right, folks, um, the fuel gauge is broken, so we're waiting for maintenance. So we wait about 20 minutes. Then he comes back on, uh, folks, the uh, fuel gauge is still broken, uh, but we're going to go anyway. <laughs> uh, we know how much fuel we have, and we feel confident it'll be okay, so we're going to go. And I'm thinking, okay, well, he's a pilot. I'm sure he's going by some manual that says, you know, if the fuel gauge breaks, call maintenance. If they're not there in 20 minutes, fuck it. Fuel gauges are overrated, just go, you're fine. <laughs> just top it off and remember what happened. So then we still don't take off, and a guy comes back on, uh, folks, we have another problem. LaGuardia Airport in New York won't give us clearance to take off because the weather has been bad there intermittently, so we're gonna wait for that. So we wait 20 minutes. Then he comes back on, uh, folks, LaGuardia still hasn't given us clearance, but we're gonna go anyway. <laughs> we're looking at the radar, we think the weather will be fine. So what we're gonna do is uh, say that our destination is Philadelphia. We'll get clearance to go there. Halfway to Philadelphia, we'll switch course to the LaGuardia Airport. We'll be happy there in a few minutes. I swear to God he said this. First of all, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be honest with the dude in the tower. Like does the dude in the tower have to go, really, you're gonna come on. Tell me where you're going. And why is he telling us this shit? I, are, am I gonna have to corroborate this lie if we get pulled over by the sky police at some point in the flight? Oh no, we're totally going to Philly. I got a brother there and uh, we got a thing in Philly. But I'm still fine with it because we're travelers on the plane. Yeah, I got a thing, fuck it, I'm immortal. Just go, please. Yes, go into marginal weather with shoddy equipment Secretly, I totally support this plan. So, we take off. We get above where we are right now. And it's just a black motherfucker of a cloud. It's just like the Wizard of Oz. It's just, there's trees throwing apples at us. It's crazy. It's just horrible. And we're the whole flight and we're making these circles. And me and the guy next to me are both listening to the tower. You know how you can plug in your seats sometimes? And you can listen to the tower talk to the area airplanes. And we keep, he, we keep hearing our guy trying to get clearance to land from LaGuardia. Ah, uh, this is Delta 288 uh, requesting clearance to land. And it's a negative 288. <laughs> Low visibility. A few minutes go by. Uh, this is Delta 288. We would really like clearance to land. Yeah, that's a negative 288. Like he was getting annoyed. And meanwhile, we're just circling and burning this vague amount of fuel. <laughs> we could just stop being an airplane at any second. <laughs> and then we hear this. This is all true. This, the LaGuardia guy comes, it's LaGuardia Airport to all area airplanes. We are closed for the night, zero visibility. Not safe for landing. Please divert to Philadelphia or Allentown, Pennsylvania or Boston. And then we hear our guy. This is Delta 20. We need, we need to land now. We have no fuel. We have no fuel. We have to land right now. <laughs> huh. Interesting. <laughs> then there's a pause. And then we hear this. <sighs> well... Then clear to land, then 280. Uh. That's how he said it. Like, dude, uh, <laughs> no one can see, okay? But just, I, I guess all the dumb decisions you made today have made this a good one. <laughs> just take a shot. I'm going home. Just fucking turn the lights off after you crash. I don't give a shit, frankly. 
By the way, you're not supposed to be here, you fucking liar. You said you were going to Philly. So as soon as we get clearance, we just like we start bulleting. We're either flying desperately towards the ground or falling. I don't know that there's a difference. We come out of the clouds and there's the fucking earth right fucking there. It's right there. That's what low visibility means. We come out of the clouds and no fuck, it's right to Jesus! And the plane just... And you can feel the plane go, oh fuck, I can't do that. What are you, nuts? And we go and veer over the highway and I swear to God, I saw people in their cars go, what the fuck? And we hit the runway like sideways, like poof. And the pilot comes back on, all true, I swear to God. He's totally out of breath. He's like, <sighs> Welcome to LaGuardia Airport, <laughs> New York City. <sighs> you may turn on your cell phones now, and you may call your loved ones. He said that. He said, you may call your loved ones. And everybody on the plane was crying and rocking back and forth, just sobbing, calling their husbands and their wives. I'm divorced. What am I going to hide? Remember you hate me? Well, I almost died. And I got in a cab, and the cab driver goes, that was a very bad landing. I was like, how'd you know that was me? He's like, that's the only plane to land in four hours. <laughs> we all watched the drivers. We said they're going to die. 